Hey, Joe. Hey, Tammy. I have a question. Sure, what's your question? What are some best practices for posting on LinkedIn? Whether you're posting a plain text post or an image post or a poll or a document or a video, there are three things you wanna keep in mind to make sure that your post is gonna be as effective as possible. Number one, it's the hook. You know, like when you're reading a newspaper or a magazine, I know people don't read newspapers anymore, but if you were gonna read an article, the first thing is the headline. That's what draws people in. So your hook is the first sentence or two sentences that you post on a post and you wanna hook people in so that they click the show more button and they actually read the entire post. People are just scrolling on the feed and you need to draw them in using a compelling hook. Number two, the second thing you need is the meat. The meat is where you get into the meat and potatoes. So whether it's about a story that you're telling or information or an event that you wanna share with your followers, get creative, be dis descriptive and make sure that you use fun language and kind of spread it apart. Don't use too much chunky, text where you're locking everybody into a massive paragraph because people are typically not going to read that people are used to reading line by line so make sure to break it up really nicely that's the meat and number three it's the call to action make sure that people know exactly what to do so if you want people to like if you want people to comment if you want people to click on a link in the comments or you want people to dm you whatever you want them to do tell them what you want them to do because people need clear directions as to what to do next so Remember three things. Number one is you gotta get a good hook to get them to hit the show more button. Number two is you need really good meat. And by the way, if you're a vegan, use soy, use soy. <laughs> and number three is the call to action. You want people to know exactly what to do. And if you do those three things, you're gonna have a much more successful post. Tammy, the posts that bomb, that don't do well at all, those posts typically are missing a hook, they're missing call to action, and their meat is spoiled. Yeah, or or they're just sharing other people's posts those those tend to do nothing as well yeah the algorithm does not favor just randomly pressing share and just writing this is a great post you should check it out instead what you want to do is you want to create a new mm -hmm. original post you can credit other people if you're using their content but create a fresh new post and that'll give you the maximum exposure also don't forget to use hashtags and if you need a, a list of the top hashtags check out hashtag spreadsheet.com we prepared a list of the top 100 hashtags and there's a downloadable spreadsheet with all the different hashtags with how many followers they each have. Remember to use three to five hashtags max on your posts. Thanks so much, Joe. You're welcome. Boom. Boom.